Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode. This one is a bit of a different one because today I have to start packing for my big trip. I am going to New Zealand and Australia and leaving this van behind and picking up another van on the other side of the world. And today, so we're gonna go out there again with some dive lights and go looking for an octopus den and see if we can find it. <gasps> Oh, my body feels alive. Yeah. <laughs> I know on this channel I have mentioned that I'd had a hard time a lot. Um, and what I didn't tell you... actually is. It's very full. It just gives me anxiety thinking about it and it's coming down with rain so I have to be quick. wetsuit and Octo Hat and I are gonna go octopus hunting out there. I'm so excited. So we're on a hunt for a giant Pacific octopus today. Giant Pacific octopus lifespan is longer than most octopus, three to five years. And they have 100 to 400,000 babies and only a few of them survive to adulthood. Uh, the females generally only breed once and today 
a little while back. Somebody found one just out there. So we're gonna go out there again with some dive lights and go looking for an octopus den and see if we can find it and show you. As you know, I'm obsessed with octopus. Even have a little octopus ring tentacles wrapped around my finger. Yeah, they're my favorite ocean creature, second only to a nudibranch. <sighs> and I've never yet seen one in the wild, so cross your fingers and toes for me. I will be okay if I don't find one because their camouflage is incredible. They are the masters of disguise. But if you've seen one once, it's likely they're there again. But they snort when they come up, they come up and huff. Not quite. There's like four, is there four or five of them? 
three. I think there's five or six. I just swam from there all the way out to there and then all the way back again and then back around the cove. Oh, good time to make a tea. Something to warm me up on the inside. I am very cold and my toes felt like they were going to fall off. It's the thing that you don't see after a swim is that sometimes it's it really cold. All right. And now I have to dry all of this out. ocean and I'm gonna go for a little dunk the quickest fastest dunk you can ever imagine <sighs> there's the ocean all right let's do this I'm naked now and I'm so excited my whole body is buzzing with adrenaline I'm gonna go in I've got my dive torch so I can take it in underwater Just highlights how much my bonnet and van need a wash. Today, I have to start packing for my big trip. I am going to New Zealand and Australia and leaving this van behind and picking up another van on the other side of the world. So I need to make sure all my dry goods are packed up and rodent proof. And I need to also 
start packing and figuring out what I'm going to take with me. Camera gear, clothing, the correct wardrobe. Eee, it's going to be a big deal. Let's get organized. Oh, there's a few things to consider when getting the van ready to leave. First of all is I've got somebody organized to turn on the engine, run it consistently while I'm gone to make sure that the engine stays active. I'm going to be gone for quite a bit. I'm not going to tell you how long yet. Um, so I want to make sure that the van stays in good, healthy engine working condition for when I come back. Because I won't be in here having a fire and keeping the place warm, that we have some sort of moisture management. So I have this and I have a little dehumidifier. Uh, I'm going to be parking the van somewhere with access to power so I can plug it in and have the dehumidifier running and the kind person who's looking after my van, thank you, will be able to check on that. And we may even leave a little space heater for at least while the weather is as cold as it is now. Um, um, it won't be nippy in here for very long. Um, I've been enjoying some seasonal festivities, which means staying with some friends. So I haven't been in here for a little bit, so I'm warming it back up again while I get ready to pack and get all of this stuff organized and it will be not steamy anymore and toasty very shortly. Okay, let's pull out things I'm gonna need. Ca charging cables, camera cut charging stuff, mm, SD cards, swimming clothes, summer beach clothes, cool evening clothes, underwear, I'm gonna pack really light, hopefully. I don't really fancy taking a whole lot of stuff. There we have it. Some underwear, some pants, some t-shirts, bath towel, Opto hat desperately wanting to come with me, but I don't think there's gonna be room in the luggage. So, with that job half done, this job started, we shall move on to this next one, which is moving the f contents of my pantry drawers into these bins so that nothing gets snaffled or eaten by the wrong mouths. I have a ton of dry goods in here, and with these two plastic sealable containers, 
I hope to prevent, reorganize a little bit. Um, make sure anything doesn't go bad or get eaten. And these, I'm gonna leave in my refrigerator, in my freezer. <sighs> I should probably clean it first. A couple of things that I'm also gonna do before I leave, which will really help uh, keep the van nice and dry. I have this very, very mini, teeny dehumidifier with this little, water catchment drawer at the front so we'll be running this because I'm plugged in at a friend's place and then in the next couple of days I'm going to run some of these containers for capturing moisture because I've been in and out a lot and it's been snowy outside my feet have been tracking in a lot of water on the floor in the snow it melts because it's warm in here so we're gonna get rid of that this way. I can't yet turn the fan on in the roof because it's covered in about three or four inches of snow still. So hopefully in the next few days we've had a lot of rain it'll melt and this will be something that we can use and sort out. I had such a hard time motivating myself to do some packing and some tidying up and preparing to go away. I think part of me is like sad because I'm going to be leaving my home for such a long period of time. And the other part of me is excited but also tired after a very long winter. It's not even technically halfway through winter, it's just been a very long year. I know on this channel I have mentioned that I'd had a hard time a lot, um, and what I didn't tell you is I was in a legal dispute and that lasted almost the whole year and it was incredibly exhausting. I am very happy to tell you, just in the nick of time before I leave, that it is resolved. It is resolved satisfactorily for me. I am so relieved. I have wanted to cry and wanted to be really angry and rant and share with you. But sometimes with those kinds of things, it's just not appropriate to do. So I hope you understand. Thank you all for being so patient with me. And I finally managed to muster up the energy and get stuff ready and get stuff closer to being able to be packed up and I'm sure on another day when the sun is out more or when I've had a lot more vitamin D, I've got some vitamin D over here to have, that I'll feel better and I'll feel more like packing and getting really super excited at my trip but I just feel tired right now and I'm glad that I've made some progress towards packing getting organized and cleaning up and preparing the van.
all these bubbles coming up. There's scuba divers down there somewhere. And I'm hopefully gonna jump in here, but we're gonna find and see if there's a ladder, otherwise we're gonna go from the beach. Look, do you recognize that van? This is what scuba diving bubbles look like from on top. So funny. Yep. <laughs> oh, aren't they amazing? Really makes me want to get my scuba certificate, but like free diving is just accessible. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, jumped in the water in the, in the winter? Yeah, oh yeah. But not at polar right. bear not tonight, not, You're not the last year. one half dressed. Ready, ready. Got me to do the counting. Are we yeah, you do the counting. Jump, or are we just going to stand here? Stand. Let's all count then. Alright. One, one, two, two three. three. Polar bear! Ah! It's the it's the waiting for people to climb the ladder. <laughs> that was so good. <gasps> okay, now a second time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, my buddy feels alive. <laughs> you jumped in with me. Yeah. How did it feel? Totally insane and fun. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I'm so totally proud of insane. you. Yeah. <laughs> Very proud of you. Thank yeah, exactly. you. That's fun. More you jumped in too? Much, yeah, I jumped in. It was great. How does your oh. body feel? Oh, I'm not cold at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's go eat cake. Look at our wonderful host is making us hot cocoa for after our swim. Yay! Thank you. And I've got cake that I've made. And bread that you made yeah this is when what did you say when van life is at its finest yeah van life at its finest because park at the ocean sunshine in waterfront living <laughs> oh dear oops try it somebody hold that because this is going to shake i had to go to um I think there's something magical about the way cold water just wakes up your body, makes your whole skin tingle, makes you feel really alive. And a lot of people do a polar swim on the 1st of January. Now the reason I do my polar swim on the 31st is because it feels like the last day of the year and I want to wash away, energetically reset everything that has happened for the last year 2022 is on its way out my body is covered in salt water it is refreshed i have left behind in a wave of excitement cold water and skin tingling all the stuff that's happened and i've had a bit of a rough last few months i have had my legal stuff resolve which i haven't really talked about too much and now I get to start tomorrow on a brand new adventure. Ah, I can't wait to show you. Thank you so much for yeah. helping me out and You're coming with welcome. me and picking me up. It was, it was so, so fun. fun. <laughs> and I'll hot chocolate. I'll see you in 2023 when I get back. Absolutely. You Yay. will. We will. Thanks everybody so much for watching and I cannot wait to take you all with me. I'm sad to be leaving this van behind but excited to see where we go from here. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Okay, I'm ready for warmth now.